Okay. Cup of tea. Check. Cigarettes. Check. Game. Check. Welcome back to Racketeer. Ah. Uh, and last we checked, we were at level 80. And Ilan was level 82, and still sexy. Lots of things had gone out of, uh, out of style, and out of money. We even managed to cause a run on a very specific item, and we still have 15 dungeon levels left to go. So we're going to be doing the chipmunk thing! Oh no. No. Right. Whoa. Skellington Dave and Treasure Chest. I will kill them on general principle. And of course, since this is chipmunk, um Hell, we may not even need chipmunk at this rate, because we are quite plainly rushing through those levels which uh we can't actually handle. Or are the ones which are bad luck. Furball, please. Right. This level is full of traps is actually a pretty pathetic status. Because Yeah, the traps are really hard to avoid. Seriously. Whereas an old chorus line is annoying. And I foresee a lot of chestnuts in the future. Oh no you don't. Go. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let's be methodical about this. Any honey? No. No. Oh, well. oh, well, screw that. Off we go. We do not want to take too much damage, so we're gonna. Oh, hi there. See if that helps any. Probably not. Oh hey, walnut bread. We're gonna need some food. And oh that is some really good luck right there. Um and my cigarette's gone out, but that's cool. We'll handle that in a bit. Silver photo stand, and you just need to die. Okay, we have our game face on, we are moving forward, and Maui heads, which totally screw my composure, because Maui heads are annoying. Why are Maui heads annoying? Let's get back into that, because Maui heads fire pretty much constantly. Ghosts, even ghosts, aren't as annoying as Maui heads because Maui heads will just fire a stream of wibbly wobbly things at you which will hurt and can stun lock you in fact if you're really unlucky and that's free experience because the traps affect other people as much as me and that's it, you die very good and there's the exit Thank you. One moment. There we go. 
Can symbols now half as effective? Well, since we're not going to be using symbols this level. Yeah, this is what I mean. You can get quite easily just stuck in a chain of being attacked. want to move because those bean pumpkins can fire off screen. Okay. There we go. Certain enemies we will quite happily kill, others we will just avoid. Like, nulls, unless they annoy us, are generally you know, easily avoidable. And so we will. We'll just avoid them. Pumpkins, easily, easily avoided. And sometimes nulls will just get in our way, but... In fact, often nulls will get in our way. Alright, okay, let's try over here. Basically, we are rushing these last few levels because partly it's doable, and I want to demonstrate that it is doable. It's not always recommended, but it's doable. And secondly, because I want to get to the ending fairly quickly, cut down the number of sets. Because as it is, this has taken a stupid amount of sets, and this double recording will... well... It won't finish it. But it'll get us one step closer to finishing the entire LP. So we can move on to something else. Something that you won't be expecting. Mainly because I've mostly been doing relatively new stuff. Yeah, here's a good example of people who you will kill because they're in your way, and they will forever be in your way. The Knoll Chorus line. Beam Pumpkins just run the hell away. Enemy defense power doubled, otherwise known as the status dungeon status of tedium. Because everything takes twice to three times as long to die. And as you can see, sticking around to fight everything is a bad idea. It also makes Maui heads almost insufferable in large groups. Alright, there we go. Oh, actually, we will kill some bunnies. For which we will get punished. But hey, at least we got gaseous grass and fur out of it. Mm. There we go. No, it was just my imagination, there were just two ghosts, not any other monsters. <laughs> Teleport trap. That'll do. Um, that's actually okay, because it gets us to a position where we can explore the other way. Because, let's face it, the level exits are always in really awkward places, and there. <sighs> yeah, it makes Ropers doubly dangerous. Although it's nice to have another blue teacup. 
it's always nice to have more treasure, especially if it seems to, uh, as it does seem to, be a component in many fusions. And I'm just going to select this, which doesn't actually help, especially since this is a dead end. Right, okay, that did not go very well for me. Luckily, I have a powerful food item, and- Oh, God, that really didn't go well. Can't carry anymore. Yep. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is so not good. I do not want to have to get food before... Well, no, I'm going to have to get food this level anyway, because boss. Boss next level. I'm going to have to eat food and then cope. Whoa. Okay, time to eat that food. Really? We have now eaten all the food. This is why you should bring food to you into dungeons. Okay, lead the ropers in, and... There! And again. And again. Basically, we should be able to handle everything with just this one ability. People who say that I don't use abilities, I will, when it's necessary. Um, and in this particular case, oh dear lord, is it necessary. Or when it's actually helpful. Some boss fights uh, use special abilities. Actually, possibly the worst thing you can do. Oh, wait a minute, what am I picking up powerful anti-venom for? Oh, let's throw away all the crap powerful anti-venoms. No, oh, that's a crap one too. Was that the lock? Can't be because we haven't had the door open on us. Hmm. I will scream if there's something stupidly powerful here. There shouldn't be. No, it's just more ropers. Wow. This was a terrible area to proof of concept rushing. Because it was a bit crap. And the exit should be up here. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back. Back to Rectia, 